All right, ladies and gentlemen, apologies for the brief delay. West of Loathing. I admit to not really knowing anything about this until a few weeks ago. But, as many of you probably share an interest in, there was a game about 15 years ago now called Kingdom of Loathing which was a very popular online web game. It's kind of one of those action, use your action points daily sort of RPG things. There's a problem with your color. What? What do you mean? What are you talking about? <laughs> Someone in the chat's like, there's a problem with your color. Uh, what problem? Please describe that, and what are you talking about? And apparently the game volume's still out as well. Why do I even have a compressor if it doesn't put it over there? There we go. It's monochrome. No shit, so is the game. Quit wasting my time, idiot. Alright. Yeah, so they've done a sort of like a western RPG sort of thing. Uh, the whole Kingdom of Loathing series was a very comedy-oriented RPG in the first place. So... And it was all done in this graphic style. So the entire game is in this graphic style. Uh, although what you might notice, which is quite funny, is that quality is good, bad, and ugly, which I thought was kind of cute. Also, the game, I, I think it's just my monitors lately, but it's just ignoring whatever resolution I choose all the time. Say, like, yeah, it's, that's written 4040p. It's like, no, this is not 1440p, I can clearly see that. Alright. I know I'm not interested in the new Hearthstone expansion. I mean, I don't know if you noticed, but I stopped playing Hearthstone, like, almost a year ago. And I haven't, can of changed that. Holy shit. It has a c color black. <laughs> I love it. Holy shit. Oh my god. The all some of these are hilarious. It's like I like all of these, but like best font mode. Change Ariel, please don't do this. Oh, it's great. Yeah, this this is not in any way surprising. For Kingdom of Loathing was very funny. And, evidently, West of Loathing is probably going to be no exception to that. I'm going to assume Colorblind Mode probably does absolutely nothing. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can't click it. <laughs> it's greyed out. Uh, Alright. So let's jump in and find out what the hell's going on, other than the fact that I can shoot the entire menu screen up. The sound is better now, I assume? Do let me know prior to me starting. Can you hear me clearly? If not, I will turn the sound down a bit more. This game in particular just seems louder than usual for whatever reason. It's like it's down to 8% volume and it still seems kind of loud in my ears. Sounds fine. Ah, uh, yeah, shooting the clouds doesn't do anything. Oh, actually it does. Okay. <laughs> they explode. Right. Sounds good. Alright, cool. Well, music level will probably go down a little bit when we get into the game, but let's just, like, knock down 85% just in case. Alright, let's rock and roll. Nah, I just can't bother with ducking. It, duck, my ducking's been unreliable lately. I need to figure out what's causing that and work on that. Because really what that program should be able to do is work right off the back with a preset and just load up with XSplit, but it's not doing that lately, so... Yeah, we're... Well, sort of struggling a little bit with that setup. That's something I need to work on. It might even be something I need to work on a hardware solution for rather than software at this point. Alright, let's get in here. Because we're not going to get anything done otherwise. I... I... don't know, uh, but I am not surprised. <laughs> Frankly. Wait, as I as I shoot this, this is upping the reward. I don't know what that even means. Edit your name. Uh, I mean, I okay, I shot it, but it, oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. There's going to be a lot of this, isn't there? Yeah. This, this is going to be fairly common, I think. I imagine as I shoot more of this stuff, that might not necessarily be a good thing. Alright, so that, this changes what the ca- I, Is this- I mean, that looks like Bear Protagonist, but very clearly is not. 
So that's just sort of changing the names randomly. A lot of meat. Uh, meat was the currency. Raise your reward is just for fun. Okay, cool. Yeah, that, I should probably have known that. All right, my character class is a snake oiler, a cow puncher, or a bean slinger. I mean, it's gonna be a bean slinger, right? I mean, I do like a little bit of cow punching, but I don't know necessarily how much variety there is in cow punching. I think we're gonna go for bean slinger. Magic and cooking are inextricably intertwined in loathing, and the bean slinger is a mystical master of both. You've heard there's a shortage of cooks out west since the cows came home, due to most of the cooks having been brutally killed by the cows. Would you like some blueberries? I'm just going to mostly default to that voice, I think, at points. Is there any justifiable reason for that? Probably not, but hey, there you go. Right, so this is your character. Yeah, the whole art style is going to be like this. This is of no surprise. It's been a long damn time since Blake Kingdom of Loathing, I have to admit. Long time. I have gained experience for combing my hair. You comb your hair one last time. A lot of this, I think, is going to be in the absurdist writing. And you can turn the music off by doing that, which is good. Uh, we're gonna have a conversation with this crow. Russell Crow. Hey, That's the joke. I'm like, let him, let him go. Let, let Russell Crow be free. It's important. All right, so we have character inventory and options. This appears. Okay, so that pops that away. I almost thought that was going to be a joke about buying premium meat or something. I'm kind of disappointed that it wasn't a gag about microtransactions. Yeah, Kingdom of London's still chugging along, man. It's still around. It's one of the most, the best developed old school web games there is. Don't know if I can do anything with the lamp now, but I'm happy to click it to try. No, it doesn't do anything. All right, so character sheet. Yeah, they uh, they had some interesting stats in this game, like uh, glamour, moxie, and stuff like that. I was a high moxie player, if I recall correctly. I was like an accordion player. I can't remember the exact name of the class, but it had something to do with an accordion. Miskilled, hellbender, and outfoxen. Stomach capacity, liver. And spleen, of course. Yeah, if I recall correctly, that was a part of it. Looks like it was a per day system as well, which was a big deal in Kingdom of Loathing because you had a limited amount of action points every day that you could spend, and there were a few ways to earn more. That's a nice little fact, I like that. Always check all rooms, there might be stuff in them. As, like, as you can see, we now have a puzzle cube as to what that's going to do. I don't know. Let's fiddle with it. And I gained experience for fiddling with it. Yes, there we go. But yeah, it is supposed to be a, it's an RPG kind of game. So there is a, like, full combat system and everything. It's just, it's based in the, the old west of Kingdom of Loathing. It's a pie safe. I mean, you know, what else would you expect at this point? Stack the firewood, gain experience. You gain experience for like almost any everything in Kingdom of Lord, if I recall correctly. It's just like click on everything because you never know what might happen. I mean, it would look like Kingdom of Loathing because it is Kingdom of Loathing. All right. Yes, yes. Hmm, which one? About barter? It's got a, the one about bartering, of course, yes. Mind your meat. Always good to have something that gets you more money. That's important. So one assumes that reading that is- It gives me the dicker and- oh, The what? I'm sorry, the what? Would you- Could you repeat that for me, please? The what? Alright. You have a good dicker in, cause we have it. Lovely, lovely. After you're done reading it, use your newfound skills to pawn it off. On a wide-eyed route for 60 meat. There we go. Cool, so not only did I earn some dickerin, which is vitally important for some reason. Yep, absolutely. But we also got some meat from it. 
I need to sell that puzzle cube at some point. Alright. Let's have some words. Of oh, that. <laughs> Sometimes. There you go. Just being nice to him. Give me his puzzle cube back. I did steal it from him, to be fair, which is... Uh, there we go. That's fine. Goodbye, Rufus. I am leaving now on my adventure. So, oh. I care not for family ties. <laughs> that hat doesn't fit you, Dad. I'll grow into it. <laughs> sure. Can of infinite beans! But they're not very good beans. Uh, but it is a, it's a good solid offhand, apparently. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't, I... No, I'm, I'm not actually surprised, nor should I be, really. I don't want to skip the opening credits because it's probably full of jokes. But if it's not, I'll be very disappointed. Yeah, Skin of Lone's humor was a little bit like half anti humor and half dad jokes and a little bit of absurdist purple monkey dishwasher shit. Stunt co op. Uh, okay, alright. There's like, none of these are real! Every last one of them is a lie. I'm actually kind of disappointed that I can't shoot the credits. Well, at least they're not overdoing the joke. So, I guess I'm not- Oh, oh there we go. I was gonna say, can, can I get off here? This place looks actually interesting. Alright. Well, bad news is we fell off a cart, which is unfortunate. Oh, no ride, no meat, no prospects. I thought I did have some meat. Yes, I do. I have 60 meat. That is a lie. That is a fucking lie. There is meat. I knew I was able to acquire it. Alright, so that buffs you for the rest of the day. Alright. Yeah, I'm interested to see how this sort of day system works. It's cool that it's there. I think they could have very easily just made a game that's like, Hey, it looks like Kingdom of Loathing, and it's got Kingdom of Loathing jokes in it, but it's in the West, hardy da and that will be enough. The fact that there's actually tie-ins mechanically to what was a weird fucking 15-year-old web game is kind of neat. Ah, yes. It's a barely enchanted hat, barely, but good enough, one might say. And no, we're not going to read all of the dialogue out. It's like I won't have a voice by the end of this damn thing. Well, at least it shows a new character, because I wouldn't really imagine it taking a huge amount of effort to do that, considering the aesthetic we're currently wearing. Is there anything else in the box of hats? What would I do with two hats? I can think of several things that I would do with two hats game. Several. That's a good question. I actually have no idea why I'm here. Other than I apparently didn't like the shitty farm, so I decided to come here instead. Well, turning up to a town called Boring Springs may have been the first problem. Manifest Destiny Railroad Company, alright, sure. This dialogue's nice and quick. There's a, there's a decent amount of reading, but it's nice and easy to read. It's not exactly what I'd call a complex. It's slick and nice and easy to get through. Goblins? I mean, I don't know. I have abilities and I don't know what any of them do, so... Of course there's a goblin in the basement. Why would there not be? I'm surprised it's not rats. Surprising amount of ambient sound in this area as well. Yep. Yep, I remember the goblins from back in the day. This is mostly just going to be a do you remember this kind of thing? The idle animations though in this game are fucking awesome. Look at that shadow quality! Compared to other games, it's mostly better than that. Suck it up, Hellblade. Oh my god, this is the best. Please do something else. 
I'm told there's like a load of really good idle animations in this game that are just worth looking for. Apparently this one's just going to be mostly swinging and all that kind of thing. Tutorial battle? Tutorial battle. Yep. So the UI is all hand drawn, of course it is. Uh, what, what can we do as a bean slinger? Lava father. Nine hot damage. The father bean is a nice count here. Bean shield. Or give up. Shoot them with a pistol, which is surprising that I have one of those because I don't recall ever equipping one. I don't see a reason not to just set him on fire. Beans! Hot beans! Plasma beams. There we go. So that used AP as to what... I actually don't see an AP meter anywhere. So I don't... Uh, all it says is that I don't have enough for it. Which I'm going to have to believe it on, because I don't know exactly where I get that. Oh. Okay, I could have just used that to kill it instantly. I probably just should have paid attention. There we go. Sure. Yay, things. Anything else in here? I, The shadows are surprisingly good. <laughs> as weird as you might think that that might be as a comment on the aesthetic of this game. Those are good shadows. Those are good shadows. I've seen a lot worse. All right. What you got to say for yourself? I'm going to assume the fungicide does not work on things that are not goblins, and that's probably the only goblin in the entire game, knowing them. Meat. A bag of meat. Indeed. Who's this? I mean, yes, talking to people is an option. The what? I don't know what that is. Oh, sells horses. Okay. How's that going? Good. Oh, right. Well, that maybe not. A kind of boring horse. I'm okay with a boring horse. I, I think that might not necessarily be a bad idea. Exciting horses, maybe not so much. Oh, God. And I guess cows are the main antagonist in this one? Sure, why not? That, that, I mean, I don't think we're going to be getting very far with her, honestly. I mean, I could try talking to her again. In the end of this, I'm actually kind of surprised that she didn't just punch me. But hey. I am nice. Can I have some spit from the spit bucket? Look in the spit bucket. Yep, that. Look closer to the spit bucket. <laughs> no. Never surrender. It must be done. This, no, no, we are looking in it. We got it. We got the ring. And apparently we've equipped it. And it's strong. It's a, it's a good item. That is a good solid item. That is why you persevere in life, folks. That's a lesson to learn forever. Good solid piece of motivation there. Let's go check out the other place. That's where the sheriff is. Trade! I, I don't trust you in the way that you're wielding that. Hey, let's do some dickering. Give me free shit. Why? <laughs> Why? Sure, more dynamite. I like the fact that I got a skill where they're just like, hey, give me free things, and their answer to that is yes. Indeed, what you got? RPG combat, you say? Why? I'm well versed in this. Oh, and I actually have a gun this time. He deputized a gun. <laughs> Sounds reasonable. All right. I wonder if you get party members in this.
You know, normally I'd say, that sounds really un- What the fuck? Hi. I mean, yeah, that seems logical and reasonable. This is not misleading people. Turned into a cactus. That's an unfortunate turn of events. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. Yes, by all means, here you go. Oh, and I gain experience. Which apparently is going to upgrade Pi, which I'm not sure if Pi is a stat or not. Spleen capacity and speed, you know, that's, that seems reasonable. There we go. You know, this is why you look around towns. Stick the newspaper- Ah, oh, no, I've stuck the newspaper to his face. There we go. And that did a brilliant job. That accomplished everything we were looking to accomplish here, I think. Can I have the boring horse, please? A thousand meat for a boring horse? I don't have a thousand meat. Yet. Yet. Sure. Yeah, I- I will... They like the environments that are thematically appropriate. This is a bag of homing oats. They're special pigeon-infused oats. Which do what, exactly? We'll send the- Ah, okay. So I guess I can't have his boring horse. I would like your boring horse. But it's a thousand meat. Alright, well. Let's go do questing! Some, some description. Alright, we'll go uh, kill the gang first, I suppose. Using the power of beans. As to what, I still haven't quite figured out what it generates AP yet, and how I get it. All I know is I had one of them. Or what any of- right, so the mysticality is what buffs up my spells. Yes, but what gives me AP? I don't sort of see that anywhere. But hey, we'll figure it out as we go along, I'm sure. I mean, I'm just gonna shoot him. That doesn't seem very sports- but yes, I would. yeah, yes, I- I'm actually going to do that, yes. No, die. <laughs> you got the perk ruthless. I mean, sure, I was gonna- he was gonna fight me anyway. What did I- uh, what does the perk ruthless do then? Ruthless options will now be available in some situations, neat. Just murder him, why not? I see no reason not to do that. That seems beneficial. I've got these two dynamite as well, don't I? These are- Ah, I need a fancy shirt, otherwise I can't use the cufflinks. I mean, that makes logical sense. There's, uh, nothing that I could really say to argue with that. I got the dynamite by asking for it. And I also traded a, a needle for a piece of dynamite. Are we just gonna murder him as well? Drown him! Yeah! Uh, that seems reasonable, actually. There we go, and now he's dead. So this is going pretty well so far. <laughs> My guy is a psychopathic murderer, but that is fine. Also, how did they not notice me here? Why don't we just, you know, murder him? Cool. Uh, there we go. This, se this all seems entirely reasonable. Okay, so he has 20 HP. Our gun does well, like, 4 to 5. Dynamite will kill him easily, but I don't really see the reason to kind of worry about that. Ah, so there's a kind of a cover system. If I just punch him, that gets past that. There we go. Well, that failed to do anything. Might as well hit him with the farmer beans. And then just punch him in the face. He's also a really bad shot, as it turns out. He has 5 HP left, okay. I'm not sure if he's on fire or not. I think we just, like, made him maybe vulnerable to fire or something. Looks like he had 1 AP per battle. Okay, yeah. Gumption level 2! We murdered them completely! Oh, they stole his door! Alright, I didn't pay much attention to that. All things, take them. I mean, I dealt with the gang fairly efficiently, you've got to admit. There we go, got the sheriff's cell door back. I could probably just fast travel right back, can't I? 
And the, the fact that he's saying that as I walk past the place that I drowned a man in for no reason is only slightly disturbing. Ah, I cannot harvest the beer cactus. That is unfortunate. I don't have the skills. I mean, I might as well just go and find those horses while I'm uh, on this. So let's do that. Can I equip the door? No, I, I cannot. It's always worth checking, though. Ah, meat ore. Yes, my favorite kind. And a shovel. Ah. RPG dialogue puzzle option things. Yes. Always good to have. I mean, frankly, this has already given me more conversation and non-violent options than Fallout 4. Not that that would really take much at this point. Oh, I'm sure this will go wonderfully. I mean, it did say several kinds of plunger. I'm probably gonna have- this will be a puzzle, I imagine, maybe to blow that up. I mean, what else would you find in a mountain other than meat? I need a crowbar, so I'm gonna need the tools first, alright. Gumption gives you AP? Oh, that's good to know. Being able to cast up more ones. Yeah, but I Oh, I got rid of the needle. I'm 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 kind of a bit of a dumbass. I actually had a thing to pick that lock. What if I just blew it up? I uh, guess I don't have the option for that. What if I just shot that? Unrefined meat nuggets, of course. I don't have a blasting cap, so I don't know if this actually does anything, but yep. I may have to come back here later, because I don't think I have the means to do this, because I think I'll need the tools to then get the blasting cap out. So, we'll come back here later. I assume that I don't have the means to do it yet. I, c I could maybe trade it back, I'm not sure if it lets you do that. Where is the thematically appropriate horse? It's... it's undead, sure, why not? Yeah, it does seem like you get the a, one a, the action point every time. Ah, so it's uh, apparently not quite as effective on skeletons, which does make a decent degree of sense. I don't know how much damage it's going to do, I'm going to assume not a lot. I'm also collecting a lot of mugs, I don't know if you've noticed that. Ow, okay. Kind of painful. I think you get all your health back after a fight, so I think we're okay. There we go. We'll find out very rapidly if that's not the case. Nice thing is that while obviously it does have a fairly base RPG combat, it gets through shit kind of fast. Which is definitely good. There's a lot of games like, hey, we're going to do the classic Final Fantasy style combat, and then everything just drags on and it's... Ugh. Mr. Cali level 3, and a gold tooth, and an old cavalry saber. Yeah. Saber sounds like a good idea. Yeah, it looks like my HP is back on, but there's another mug there. Keep collecting mugs. Because, of course, if I bring them back to the bar, they're going to pay me for that, I believe. Scuffles, yes. Sounds like a wonderful idea. Evidently, this person's significantly more vulnerable to father beans. Well, like I said, the person at the bar said if you bring my mugs back, I'll give you stuff, so I'm collecting his mugs. I'm doing exactly what they told me to do. That is a ghost horse. Right. That does make sense. Uh, here, have some homing oats. There we go. Ah, that is a bit of a problem. This seems like a puzzle. Oh, add some grave dirt to the oats. Sure, why not? Yes, that would work. Okay, cool. Hard to know if some of these are just like, hey, these are puzzles you have to come back for later, and or just something you just click through the options for until it actually happens. All right, well, that's one. Let's go to Thousand Snakes Gulch. 
I mean, I've got to assume this gulch has a thousand snakes in it. And if it doesn't, I'm a bit disappointed, actually. Also, don't touch cacti. Oh, it's asleep. Murder it. With fire, mostly. It is making the point that this is not one snake gulch, which is absolutely true. <laughs> that fucking animation is just brilliant. Oh, poison. Nobody likes that in RPGs, you know that. Clobber it. Yay, muscle. This is already a really, like, fun RPG. I'm liking this a lot. Mostly because it's full of callbacks to Kingdom of Loathing, but you don't need any of that knowledge to enjoy it. What it's full of more callbacks to is old-school RPG games, which is nice. Yep, I could just murder it. Oh, I have two AP now somehow. Don't know where I got that from, but I'll take it. Barber beams! I don't know how long it is, but it's not exactly an expensive game. There are- some people did get early review copies. We do- we, The problem we currently have is that there's so many goddamn video games coming out. Like, Chris is finding it difficult to re- like, know which one to go after. And you'd be surprised how few companies actually just send us code. It's like, yeah, hey, you want like, guaranteed sales and money if your game is good? Send us code and then they just don't. Like, pfft. At this point, it's hard to even know who to chase after, because there's so much shit coming our way on a weekly basis. There we go. Yeah, have the oats. Off you go. Well, there were only three snakes in the Thousand Snake Gulch, which was a bit disappointing. I need to... Probably go back to the town, do a bit of trading, because I'm going to need something to open that lockbox for. That at least shouldn't be a problem now. To the town of Boring Springs. First things first, we have some mugs to trade in. Alright. Yeah, I have some mugs. Thank you. There we go. That's a little bit of extra cash. Still, we're earning towards that thousand, and we're not there yet. Oh, yes, that was the basement I was in. Okay. We can leave now. Alright, give the sheriff his door back. There we go. Yes, because we basically murdered all of them. Oh, we almost have the money. I imagine... Oh, we're short 15. Okay. There's another mug! There we go. That'll- that'll get us what we need. Just go and give them that mug, probably. There we go. We have a thousand now. Away. Now, GOG is not doing better at all, like... It's still got a much smaller share of the market. The thing that people seem to have not realized is the fact that Steam is selling a bunch of crap doesn't make Steam any less popular. Steam is more popular than it's ever been. It's like, is Amazon less popular because it sells a bunch of shit? No. Not at all, really. The issue is... Yay! More grit, cool. The issue is filtering. You know, the ability to filter the crap out and get to the stuff that you want. Like, it's discoverability. Do you have problems on Amazon finding what you want? Generally not. And honestly, I've bought quite a lot of things from Amazon that have come through their recommendation engine. As dumb as the recommendation of engine of is, like saying, hey, you want to buy this thing that you already own? More often than not, it'll show me something like, say, a board game or a... Maybe like a Nintendo Switch game or something that I didn't even know was out. And I'll buy it on the basis of that. 
That's what Steam needs to be able to do. I don't think they're there yet, but I think they will get there. And at that point, the crap doesn't matter. Like, it really, at that point, doesn't matter because you're not seeing it. You're not going to run across it. You know, in principle, I would like Steam to be a well-curated store. In principle, I certainly think that they should be doing a bare amount of product testing on their games, no doubt. And it seems like they are doing that. But simultaneously, has Steam Direct, like, directly harmed the Steam ecosystem? The best of our knowledge, we don't know yet. I, if it's hurting discoverability for games that are having problems being found that are good, that's a problem. And that needs to be worked on through better discoverability tools and empowering curators. But simultaneously, if it's not, then there really isn't any harm in all of this shit being on Steam, other than the idea that we just don't like the notion that it is. So we need to see sort of where that's going to go. And if their recommendation engine you know, ends up being as powerful as it needs to be, then you're not going to have this problem. If it doesn't, and it ends up recommending you a bunch of shit, then that's a problem as well, obviously. So they need to find that balance, and they need to make sure that their engine works for the vast majority of people. And for the people that it doesn't work for, make it kind of obvious as to why, which is why we encourage them to make all of this data public. So it's like, tell people why the recommendation engine spat this out at them, and then those people can turn around and say to the recommendation engine, stop spitting this shit out at me. Uh, also, sell me the boring horse, please, if you don't mind. Do I want the spooky horse? Do I want to be a ghost rider? Or the crazy horse? Crazy eyes. Is something wrong with him? But... <laughs> It's high. Uh, yeah, I'll have the crazy horse. So there we go. We're going to give him a name. It's going to be called Binky. All right. <laughs> Here's a map to another place. All right. Wait a minute. Why do I? Oh, because I got two of the horses back. I still don't have the means to open that toolbox. Well, that's something we'll probably have to come back to later. I don't have anything that he actually wants to trade with me. He'll trade soap for a lock if I have soap, but that's all he'll do. It's not a standard store setup. Anyway, didn't he want to give me another job? Well, what was the job? I wasn't actually paying attention. Oh, he needs a lock. All right, so I need to find soap, and then I can just trade the lock. But I don't know where the soap is, so... That's obviously not going to work for the time being. I guess we'll go to this new place. Wait, how do I do that? Make your own damn guide to Boring Springs. Right, how do I go outside of that exactly? I have no idea. Oh, do I have to use the map maybe? That would make sense. Yup. The bath. I checked the bath. It didn't have any soap in it. I don't think. But that would make sense, wouldn't it? So maybe we should go back there and check. Maybe I missed it. Or maybe it's because I murdered him that I didn't get it. Which makes no sense, because soap doesn't disappear just because you drown a person. But never mind. I'm wondering sort of what I do with all of this crap that I now have. Evidently, don't do anything with it in Boring Springs. Oh. Okay, so I can't leave, otherwise... It, well, you know, I might as well finish the thing. But simultaneously, I don't know if I can now. Maybe I... Maybe it's just not possible. Or maybe there's another way. Maybe I just missed something. We'll have a look around. Now I'm getting a bit completionist on us, which is not really what anyone wants, but... What I need is the blasting caps, which is not going to allow me to get for some reason. Because they're in. I need a crowbar, which is probably in the toolbox, unless there is another way to get one. And the toolbox, again, is something I can't unlock. There is no. Cr yeah, I don't know if this game has a crafting system. I'm going to assume it does, but. 
so I, I need to find a solution to this. Maybe there's some more needles in those haystacks. Is one of the haystacks in the horse shop? Let's go and have a quick look. Aha, yes, there we go, there we go. Yep, should, should have probably seen that coming. I'm, need to stay within the logic of Kingdom of Loathing. Things make a certain amount of weird sense. Nope, need blasting caps, need TNT, because it says so. There was a crowbar in there, of course there was. There we go. You've succeeded in putting yourself in grave danger, yes. What could possibly go wrong? And there's... How the fuck did that get in there? Who knows at this point? You see a dark horse. It's, it's more like cripplingly introverts away from you. Okay, transitive verb! There you go, see? Well, it just, as long as you press one enough, it will work. All right, so that will, that's now everything complete in this area. There we go. And I can't get that soap, so I don't think I can complete that quest. Oh, maybe, maybe this, that's opened that area before I leave then. Alright, maybe I'm not quite done then. Yeah, have some whiskey. Nurse whiskey. Ideal. That seems very dangerous. Yes, I, I suggest that that is not a good idea. Here you go. It's a great idea that she's drinking along with that. I mean, this... I have a feeling this house will not last long. Bandits, cow demons, dead men. It's terrible. It's terrible. Corpses and skeletons. Yeah, I, I did notice that. Yep, I did fight and kill them. Can you explain that? Okay, that's horribly depressing, but never mind. I mean, it would be. So necromancy is going on. No pastomancy as of yet, I've noticed. Hmm. Which do I want? We should learn about goblins. I can speak goblin now. Wait, can I just read all of them? Cool. Stuff. Why would- why would I ever not want those things? So what does it let me do? Oh, it lets me talk- well, of course it does. Like, th this is, the thing about Kingdom of Loathing is, uh, as absurdist as it was, it made complete sense. Which, evidently, this game has also decided to just do that. Yay! Join my party, please. Yes. I guess I might get another party member, that's good. This is just fun so far, this is just generally enjoyable and funny and... ...makes a satisfying amount of sense. There's no bullshit in it. Which you kind of expect from a game like this. It's like, hey, let's just play on the license and make a bunch of bullshit and stupid jokes. Which, as it turns out, actually is not what they did at all. Which is kind of cool. I'm not sure if they, uh, what these guys have done in the past, if anything. I'll have to check. I think we're done here. What I can tell. 
yeah, I could I could have probably talked with that goblin if I'd uh, gone there first. That's the cool thing, because, like, I've... N pretty sure I've missed two things as a result of decisions that I've made. Like, the... There was the pass me the soap option before I, you know, instead of drowning the guy, that would have probably given me what I needed to do the trade. And most likely, if I hadn't just murdered the goblin immediately and I'd gone back there later and had that option, I would have been able to get something completely different. Just kind of neat. I... L l I just want to double check that I'm actually going to get her as a party member because she did say, hey, talk to me whenever you want to leave, which, you know, you probably sh Right, yeah, yeah, okay. So, yeah, it is how- yeah, I've talked to her, so it should be fine. If I leave and she just doesn't join me now, I don't know why that would happen. But yeah, we're leaving, we're getting out of here to somewhere more interesting. Off we go. Who will I take with me? Oh, we have an option. We can- who the fuck is Crazy Pete? I don't recall ever talking to him. I, I must- maybe it was the guy at the bar. We're taking the doctor, I think. There we go. Until this point, I've been automatically expending your XP for you. No, I- I'll start spending it manually. That sounds like fun. You have the option of turning yourself into some kind of unbalanced weirdo if you want. Sounds great. Yeah, we're gonna go chase down that necromancer who is possibly responsible for the cows and the demons and the graveyard stuff and everything else. Day one, the first day of the rest of your life. And I still have this fucking horse. Love it. <laughs> the- yeah, sure. There are the occasional just obvious stupid puns. Sure. Makes sense. What the? He looks a little unhappy. Everyone actually looks quite unhappy. What the fuck is wrong with all of you? I don't know because it won't let me talk to them. What is at the bottom of this spit? You know there are good things in it. They're gonna- they're going to fuck with me, aren't they? If I keep doing this, you know they are. There is a surprising amount of writing involved in the spit bucket. Very nice. See? It's a good solid offhand item, which I think might actually be stronger than the one that I have. I had the can of infinite beans, which sounded extremely impressive until it wasn't. So, I think that might be an upgrade. What's going on with the fucking harp? That's not a harpsichord, it's a honky tonk. What am I talking about? That, it's just a, a bit disturbing. Uh, it looks like things do have sell value, so there's probably an actual merchant in this rather than just that straight up trader. Ah, keep what you have to say for yourself. Now what's going on in this town, hmm? Yes, you can tell one of those buckets is going to like kill me or something. I was sitting there watching a lot of the animations because they're just so fucking good. There we go, we have ourselves a room. Which you're disturbingly in, but okay. We should go and uh, explore the town first, maybe buy some stuff, sell some stuff. All that good thing. Yeah, there we go. What on earth is that all about? Oh! We can write back to- of course you should. Correspondence wizard, I love it. This room is mostly me just reading out funny things that the game has said as opposed to actually adding anything. But then I just realized that's most of the streaming world, so... Not really a problem, is it? Alright, cool. I- I want that! Obviously. Pretty much immediately, why would you not? It seems like anything that's otherwise useful has a little blue thing under it, so... 
selling this stuff is probably not a bad thing. I don't know what my inventory limit is, though. Ah, cool. So if, if it is just junk, you, it just says just sell it on it. But the things that are not, one assumes that you might want to hold on to for crafting purposes or whatever. So I should probably keep a hold of that. Maybe get rid of this crap. There we go. Is there anything else they sell that's good? Tooth powder. Alright, so these are all sort of day buffs. That seems good. We probably want something that increases my magic. Uh, it's not, it's not that there's anything that really does that other than just the generic everything else. Okay, well that's all I've got for the time being, that's fine. Yeah, I haven't unlocked the crafting system yet, so I know there is one. I just don't have it yet. What did we learn? Hmm. Let's see. The old bean. Bean go- I mean, that- that's not even a fucking question. Bean golem, obviously. Why would you not want that? <laughs> and the golem ate the book, so I couldn't learn anything else. Perfect. Plum pudding increases my magic? I didn't notice that. No, it doesn't. It increases all of the things. I was looking for something specifically that increased my magic. Better ride back to our parents, really. Gotta be nice about that. Communications, wizard. There we go. Anything else in here of interest? Duh. Why not? Oh, it's an offhand item. Can I be the sheriff? Yes, I have- I've- I've much- No. I- Sure, yeah, I mean that- Sounds reasonable. Oh, well, never mind then. I shall prove my metal! I shall prove my worth. Go murder people. I'm very good at that. Drowning people, shooting people while they're asleep, all of these things are doable. Yep, let's- let's just go and kill them immediately. I think that's just gonna be the way that I approach this. Whatever the murder this person option is, we're gonna just take it. No, I wrote a note on the card before I sent it. To be fair, sending them a blank postcard would be fine. I might like, freak them out a little bit. Alright. Well, I have some equipment. I'm feeling uh, hopefully a little bit better. There, you can see so I can actually do the this leveling up myself now. I do have a bunch of unspent experience, but it's only seven and I need more than that to actually do anything. So I have my bean golem now. I assume I have two AP. I still, again, I'm still 100% sure on how that's confirmed, but hey. To the Dave Yard, shall we? Why not? Ah, cool. It's got like the old Fallout 2 system where you move around and encounter things on the map. Murder it. I don't have the action points to to use the... I'm gonna have to work on this, obviously. We're getting that out. So she has a shotgun and she can heal stuff. All right. That is a lot of shot. Oh, that stings a little bit. I don't have the AP now, but... Uh, not very vulnerable to pistols, but we can just whack him a wee bit, and that'll be fine. There we go. I'm not, I need to find out whether or not these are the guys that made Kingdom of Loathing, or whether they just outsourced the license, or whether maybe it was collaborative effort. If it is that- if they did just make a game, then that's great. And it's worked out really well so far. Alright. 
boots, you say? Lovely. Hey! That gave me AP! That's lovely, I can summon the Bean Golem now. Bean Golem, fight for me! I don't know what I expected, really. Frankly. It seems reasonable. That is a very dangerous summon. Good to know. So as you might have uh, sort of guessed from, uh, if you haven't noticed already, if you haven't watched the Total Biscuits Just Trying thing, uh, what we're doing at the moment for a lot of content on the channel, we'll be using this stream to sort of do research on games, and if it ends up that like, the game is interesting in some way, uh, we'll, pro we'll sort of follow that up with a Total Biscuit Suggest video, which is a more formal thing based on the stuff we've done here. And for bigger games like WTF, uh, needs WTF is, that, that'll, that's research that a lot of it I'll be doing off stream, because a lot of it will be embargoed. So I, right now I have the... Expansion for XCOM 2, the stream embargo on that is the 14th. So, I'll be streaming that on the 14th, but the VOD embargo for it, I think, is the 18th for any kind of critique. So, I'll be able to use the stream and then the research that I do before that, because I'll, I'll want to... I'm not going to stream from the start, I'll stream a bit further in. To sort of prep that and then do a more formal video on that game. I can either do my thoughts on a WTF is, I guess, just WTF is fine. Uh, we'll reserve WTF is. Ideally, I'd like to do one WTF is a week. I think that's reasonable. And I'd like to do between four to five Total Biscuit Suggest Tryings, which is a lot. I um, mean, you might think there's not five games a week worth playing. I, I, one, I disagree. I think there probably are. And I don't see a problem with using that format to either revisit a game that maybe I didn't tackle earlier or to revisit a game that's had significant changes. Like, a good example of that is um, Halcyon 6 just released the Lightspeed Edition, which has done a very similar thing to what Darkest Dungeon did with Radiant Mode. Oh god, that's a lot of spooky damage. Which just made the game a lot faster. And the biggest problem I had with Halcyon 6 was the uh, the amount of wasted time, downtime, and repetition, and it looks like they may have adjusted that. So, like, Halcyon 6 could very easily be a suggest trying now, because it's had an update of some sort. Like, it's not a new game, but the update is new. So, I think, like, you can justifiably put that in there as well. So, really, you have a lot more options than what you would otherwise think is possible. And then you throw in co-optional lounge and co-optional podcast, and, you know, if you're looking for one video a day, seven videos a week, which I don't think is at all unattainable. Yeah, of course, we're going to fight them all. Absolutely. Yeah. Fight lots of stuff. I've actually haven't fought a party with more than one thing at a time, so... Let's give that a shot. I want to see how that works out. And see if this was a horrible mistake. So I can do more damage to that. Uh, thanks for the five dollars. Bye. <laughs> Why you paid me money to say that, I don't know, but... This is a really great business model. Obviously. Thanks for the cash. And spooky damage is quite a lot. Can't finish anything off just yet, but we're getting there, we're getting there. I'm thinking the bean golem will be enough to survive this fight, but perhaps only barely. Hmm, I wonder how often she can do that. It's not a potato, it's a bean, obviously. Idiot. Dumbass. Obviously a bean. I mean, it's not, but, you know. Working on it. Get that out of the way. Also, these guys have nice hats, and I'd quite like some, and I'm hope hoping that they will give me some. Wait a minute. That's still here with minus hit points. What does that mean? It doesn't in any way surprise me if the game had some mechanic linked to that. There we go. Ah, my party member also levels up as well, that's neat. 
how much XP did I get from that? Because we were dealing with the auto leveling up prior to that. Oh, I actually have quite a bit. All right. So if I get another level in the Hellbender, I'm just doing a shit ton more damage. And then I can just up that as well. That's probably going to kill most things that I hit. At least right now, anyway, based on what I've been dealing with. What, could, we could just keep fighting? Does, do they eventually just run out? Or is that just a way to just farm? I don't know. Hmm, what is going on here? Something a little bit strange. And there we go. Hmm. Gore splattered scroll, human ashes, and a, and a receipt for a robe. That's probably something I could redeem in town. I could do with a robe. Don't have don't have anything like that yet. The music of this is really good. I need to find out who made it. What's on it? Take a pile of human ashes, spread them out in the shape of a person inside a red chalk ritual circle, and then sprinkle them with stardust and place a mostly perfect or better glass sphere where the heart would be. Oh, that sounds like necromancy. Where did I get this from? I don't recall getting that thermos, but let's drink it. But you can see, like, the stuff that you can buff yourself up with is based on your stomach, liver, and spleen capacity. Yes, yeah, so there might be some pastamancy going on here. I'm thinking of cleaning receipt. Oh, it's a receipt for delivery 150 black silk robes. Sounds pretty ominous. Oh! There we go. And I'm now making a necromancer journal, I suppose, which I can then read using the clues that I've found so far. So I'm doing an uh, investigation. We know that the necromancer's lair is west of the mountains in some way, but we don't know anything else as of yet. I'm, I don't think I have the glass sphere to do that. Yes. But why would I not perform the necromantic death ritual? Of course I would do that. Yeah, it looks like we just sort of get to grind this if we want. I can now do 16 hot damage, which is pretty impressive. Hopefully the hotkey control. That would make the combat system a little slicker. They do hurt a lot. You do have to watch out for that. And unfortunately, we can't really control what he does. Uh, then, then not. Yeah, that's a, that's something I'd recommend to any dev that is doing the good old JRPG style combat system on PC. Do hotkey a lot of that stuff. It will speed a lot of that up. And like you know, while this is kind of amusing. Being able to speed things up a little bit would be good, and they don't quite have that option, so... That's actually uh, another problem out of the Halcyon 6, weirdly enough, as we brought that up, is that, like, hey, they added a bunch of really cool animations and stuff, and it was really neat. It looks like I'd just keep doing that if I wanted, which I don't want to do, obviously, because that's boring, but... The animations just took too long, and there wasn't an option to speed them up, which makes me wonder if that new mode does have that option. If it doesn't, that's something they need to go back to. A lot of bones. Think you're going to be able to put them together to do something. Huh. Sort of inter cemetery loan. Ah! It was loaned from a different catacomb somewhere else. Mysterious, I see. Well, let's go have a gander at it, shall we? There is a speed option, is there? Did I miss that? Am I dumb? Oh, I am an actually an idiot, as it turns out. I am stupid. I, I, you know, I actually didn't expect a slider. That's not, that's not an excuse. I should have read it, but yeah, I didn't expect that. Cool. Most games don't have that. Good. Nicely done. It's quite the journey, isn't it? I'm not sure if I want to go that far. And there's also the wandering option, which I assume is probably just going to, like, run into stuff. Let's find out, because I, I want to see kind of how this time system works here. Because I think we're still on day one. Yeah, it's a goblin. Let's, uh, let's, uh, have a word with it. We don't need to fight it. I will not jack your flaps. Did I say that wrong? I will not flap, flap your truck jams to flapping. Uh, please, what, what, what do you want? Ah, so if I had out Foxen, I'd be able to get it spatula. As it turns out, I 
I mean, should I? I'm ruthless. I should murder it for no. I mean, if I want to get the spatula, that, that would be a way to get it. Let's just. This this guy is actually a lot tougher than I expected him to be. So, as you can see now, the animation speed is a lot faster, which solves a bunch of the issues that I had with it. So, nice job, devs, on realizing that. That doesn't. That's not necessarily something that a lot of devs do realize, and it's the detriment of the game. Apparently, these guys really not particularly vulnerable to being shot. I don't think I have. Been, I don't think I've been able to activate colorblind mode because I'm pretty sure it's there as a joke. Oh, cool! It's buffed to spell damage. That's actually a good thing. And I got some uh, goblin gold flapjacks. It, oh, it decreases your moxie a lot. Moxie is dexterity, though, isn't it? Which is actually not that important, I think, for my class. So, but it does give you a bunch of muscle. So, is that that spatula equipable? Is it an offhand? I actually don't know what it is. It doesn't say. Uh, uh, yeah, it is equipable. Okay. Actually does a decent amount of damage, so yeah, that's good I'm... That was the kind of neat thing about Kingdom of Loathing, as dumb as a lot of the stuff was, it was still fun to play... item management and maxing with it. Oh, it's no longer grayed out. It does nothing! I, it might, it might actually do something, because there is that blue, isn't there? No, it does literally nothing! <laughs> Surprising nobody. Half the time, as arrogant as it seems, I wonder if these devs put these options in just as to bait me. But the thing is, every now and again, that's actually true. Like, the guys that are developing Dusk, there's an FOV option that says Total Biscuit on it. Uh, so... That w it Sometimes they do actually do that. So it's not unreasonable to suggest it. You'll never notice anything because you're not going by. Yep, that is bullshit. That's not how that works at all. All right. Good, good. I am not going. Liar! God damn it. I don't believe a word that any of you are saying. You are manipulating me in chat, and I'm not okay with that. I will not fall for your lies. I think Total Biscuit FOP is 130, according to that game. I have one of the skulls. I... She's... Just, yeah. So I guess I have to collect all of her relics. Find out where they are. She's... And we're going into the catacombs for some of that, it would seem. Why would I not kick over a pile of precariously? Yes, now fight them. I think I just made a horrible mistake. I'm almost thinking bean shield here, but I think I need the bean golem, otherwise everything is gonna go to hell. I do two to twelve damage with that. The the gun does fuck all of these things. She does have the shotgun, which does hit all of them, so... Oh, I made a horrible mistake! Oh, I got a, I got a buff for doing that. Okay, I am not in any way capable of doing that yet. So, I should come back later when I have more stuff. That is clearly not going to be a thing right now. I don't know if I'd say, hey, you died and you're upset about it. <laughs> That's lovely. The railroad camp, it did, was a suggested location, so let's head in that direction. I don't think the days have gone through yet. Oh, I don't have the moxie to do that. That's unfortunate. It's just fun, full of fun little events. Like... As, as dumb as it sounds, they've actually kind of made a fun classic RPG here with this game, which I didn't necessarily expect. And you clearly do not in any way need to have played um, Kingdom of Loathing to enjoy it. 
there's references in here, you'll definitely get it. But, like, I played it 15 years ago. Now, uh, that's... I don't remember most of it. I only remember that it happened and Kingdom of Loathing was a thing while I was in university. And I loved it. And that's hopefully going to give it a boost. But, like, I think there's a lot... This may fly under the radar for a lot of people. I'm hoping that the Kingdom of Loathing audience is still kind of large enough to give them the good boost. But, like I said, this is in itself just fun and generally amusing. And that's cool. Uh, to answer your question, Magical Taz, every subbing with Prime every month is a pain. Why is there no option to keep sub? I would love to explain that for you. Unfortunately, that's just Twitch in a nutshell. Yeah, it looks like it. it, it is in the popular new releases, which does help, so... If Kingdom of Loathing still has a user base, which I imagine it does... Sure, don't mention it. Mention it. I'm gonna keep mentioning it. <laughs> uh... I love it. Because it wouldn't have surprised me in any way if that had actually done something as well. He was in charge of this outfit. Paperback did it over there in an absurd white hat. It's the fellow you're looking for, alright. Yes, indeed. He is not happy because this happened. I think he used the binoculars anywhere. Like, it's a disposable thing that sort of reveals a new location. I bought them just to do that, but I've already got sort of enough locations on the map to look at, so... Yep, railroad operation's a bit of a pain in the ass. Oh! I guess I now own the railroad operation. Well, fuck. Uh... He just... I love that he just gave up. No, I don't want to be the boss of the railroad company! A lot of dynamite. Ah, okay, so go find the goblins, which have stolen it, sure. I was gonna say, I do have two. Gustav... Gustafsson Gulch is apparently where it is. You conclude you'd rather stumble into a nest of babies or a nest of rattlers. There's no place for babies. Snakes! We can easily murder these snakes. God damn it, I do a lot of damage with that now. Okay, just blow them to pieces. Fucking animation. Is so oh my god, that poison is very dangerous. Right, okay. Uh, maybe we heal now. They don't do a lot of damage, but the poison is horrendously f powerful, so... Fuck. Alright, kill the thing immediately or we're in serious trouble. There we go. You do regain, it would seem, all of your... HP after that. Still haven't got the crafting system yet. Gonna assume it's gonna be a big deal, because it was in Kingdom of Loathing, so... And there's so many parts of stuff that don't just say, just sell them. There's clearly going to be a pretty significant crafting element to it. Yeah, he's the mayor of Goblin Town. I know Goblin Tongue. Ah, but I don't know about Foxen. What if we just murdered him? I think I've made a horrible mistake. Bean, uh... Let's see if we've made a horrible mistake. Uh, we have mostly made a horrible mistake. I, o I almost could have killed him, but I can't now. The bean shield will not be enough. As I said, there isn't really a penalty for dying from what I can tell. You just sort of get pissed off about it. Oh, in this case, uh, if you die too much, it, it kicks you back to your room and that uses a day. And um, we're not 100% sure sort of how the day system works, but if there's events tied into the days that you use, then that's pretty cool. The game also seems like it may have some replayability, even if a lot of it is reliant on the humor of the writing. Because there are definitely different ways to do things. Ah, I just got a buff from yelling at myself. I mean, that's psychologically unhealthy, but you know what? I'm entirely fine with that at this point. So we discovered... Right, in order to get into Goblin Town, either we need to learn a bit about Foxen, or we need to just get better and stronger. Uh, let's have a look at our XP right now. We can- we can buff out Foxen to level 2, actually. We could buff it- yeah, that which I think would be okay. 
upping my HP is probably a good thing as well. Because as we have rapidly discovered, I am made of glass. So, and I just buff my gumption without intending to, and there is no undo button. Good to know. Just be careful with uh, with that. There's no double click confirm on that for whatever reason. What on earth happened to you? It's a traffic accident. Nope. I. Yeah, sure. Why not? Broken leg pills. Yep, totally a thing. Right. Good to know. Hmm. I mean, that definitely seems like a crafting ingredient, which we might as well buy because it wasn't there yesterday. As for the shovel, we last I checked already have one, unless I broke it, which I didn't. Okay. The montage on the box of rocks. Yep. Aye, right, that's an accurate description of how I feel at the moment. Slightly more intelligent than a box of rocks, not by much. Oh, please tell me you can build shit. That would be awesome. Highly likely as well, like Kingdom of Loathing involved aspects of that too. Yeah, and the problem is, of course, like the travel, you gotta keep encountering stuff sort of on the way. Might as well head to the desert house first. Oh yeah, what was the, um... Yeah. That's exactly what you do. You look out the window with the binoculars and that discovers new locations. That's just a neat way of doing it. Sure. Why not? Why not just get distracted and wander off to this other place? Why wouldn't I? Don't have the foraging skill for that, but let's go into the Shaggy Dog Cave. And I'm not going to be fighting dogs. I want to recruit the dogs. We don't kill dogs. That's a rule in games. That's not allowed. If we can avoid it anyway. The record of events... ...says nothing. There is no record of events, apparently. Oh, it's in here. Alright. What happened in the Shaggy Dog Cave? I wanna know. I set out to find it. An aforementioned treasure and precious metals hidden by infamous highwayman Black Cole Jr. In the days before the cows came home. That, that, I think, is the great apocalyptic event that has apparently happened, that when the cows came home, they mostly murdered everybody. There is a shaggy dog. Can I have the dog? Can I equip the dog? Can I recruit the dog in some way? I want to know. This is a lot of extraneous, unnecessary exposition. But I care to witness something interesting. Yep, okay, we get the idea. Yes, you're headed to Shaggy Dog Cave. We understand this concept. This must have taken a lot of time to put this on the thing. Okay, yes, that's fine. That we were missing eggs, right. What next? I'm trying to work out what this joke is, and I don't know. It's like, what is a replacement butt for? Someone Google butt for and tell me what that is. Unless that is a stupid, literal joke that I missed, somehow. Shopping Red Cell over here for reasons of like, STOP TAKING THE PISS! He's gonna do that in the next one, isn't he? Oh, for fuck's sake! I should probably keep ignoring this, but I know there's probably a reason not to do that. We are still not here yet! What's a butt for? God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> I hate you. I don't recommend this game now anymore. God. Bastards. Oh god, it's still happening. When you use your game for literal shit posting, I think you've got too far. <laughs> oh dear. It's still going! Someone spent a lot of time on this! I don't know if I should keep reading this. 
I'm, I'm still tagging over plaques to mark our progress through the cave and engrave them with the tale of our journey. Fuck's sake, that was an entire plaque about plaques. Oh my god. Alright, we're finally getting somewhere. I think. There we go! That is- that was an ex excessively long story. Oh my lord. There's nothing in the cave! Fuck! You wankers! Ah! What did I... Why did I not un... Yeah, so the, apparently the literal joke... I've never heard of a Shaggy Dog story. A Shaggy Dog story is apparently a long, inconsequential, rambling story. So the Shaggy Dog cave was literally one giant Shaggy Dog story joke. Along with a... But what's a but for joke? That was the entire purpose of this existing. To waste a good amount of your time and to make those jokes. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, bear in mind, I was dragged completely off course by discovering this. And it wasted a good ten minutes on nothing. Yep, this is what... <laughs> Fuck. Things. Ooh, an incendiary bullet. Set so enemies on fire was good. Good to know. Ooh, increases arm by five for the rest of the day. That sounds useful. And additional action points of combat, always good. And again, I don't know what the inventory limit is, if there even is one in this game. But I seem to have a lot of stuff. Jesse will probably enjoy this quite a bit, I think. This is, uh, I'm gonna suggest a stem for Fan Fridays. It's probably a way to go. Better than playing shit like Dream Daddy, which is a waste of everybody's time. Yeah, visual novels. I'm just sick of visual novels in general. It's like, they're barely fucking video games. They're incredibly easy to make. They're incredibly cheap to make. Steam is being flooded with them on a weekly basis. It's like, oh god, whatever. Just stop. If you're gonna make a video game, make a video game. If you're gonna make a book, make a book. Alright. Oh my god, the sneaking. I love the eyes. Is this going to work? It's a mandatory stealth action segment. It does. <laughs> Do we fight? I, I have a bone. I have bones. There we go. Good. Problem solved. I gave the dog a bone. Knickknack paddywhack and so forth. I like the fact that I'm still mandatorily stealth actioning. Yeah, fight them. Murder. Straight up fucking murder. You could say I am super hot. There we go. Ah, new gun with a bit of buff attached to that. Yeah, all good stuff, a new loot. The emphasis on loot is, is a good thing, definitely. Because a lot of it's funny, and also, it's nice to play dress-up with. Brown boots or black boots? Ah, uh, these are a... upgrade. For some reason, it doesn't render the boots. Don't really know why that is, but it is the way. And deputy pistol, you're gonna uh, retire. But look at that, gotta... I think I stick with the wizard's half of the time. It's a bag of ears. Ah, uh, yeah, of course, because this was the place I was supposed to go for that quest. Yeah. I completely forgotten about that because I was distracted by all the bullshit that the game threw at me. I'm going to assume there are probably some AoE spells of some description. I just haven't learned them yet. But I might be about to because there was a volume of advanced bean craft in there, and that means I get to learn a new ability of some sort. As to what that will be, I guess we're about to find out. What we got? Bean wall! Spell that creates a wall of beans to provide cover from ranged attacks. Blood beans regenerates health during combat, and butter bean, a spell that reduces the opponent's muscle, mysticality, and moxie. 
I'm think uh, thinking Bean Wall is pretty practical. Healing, I already have a character that does that, so we're gonna go with Bean Wall. There we go. We haven't encountered a lot of ranged enemies yet, but I'm sure that will happen sooner rather than later. This game's fucking great. I just want to point out. If you haven't already guessed, I really like this, and it's a lot of fun. Definitely enjoying it a great deal. More than I expected to. You know, bear in mind, I only sort of have that passing connection to Kingdom of Loathing. If Kingdom of Loathing did not exist in any form, this game would still be very obviously funny and interesting. And I want to play more of it, definitely. We should uh, get more dicker in. To be fair, money hasn't been a problem up to this point, so. I'm just looking at sort of the additional things I can get. I'm thinking like upgrading Bean Shield before I go on and try and fight that thing again might not be a bad idea. Grits, the maximum HP thing. Increases stomach capacity, so in theory that means I can eat more food items. Increases pain tolerance. Losing fights makes you angry. Your toughness turns out angry again. Oh, cool. So basically, this give, this is kind of like lives. And if you exceed that, you pass out and that uses a day. That's a, uh, okay. That makes sense. Hmm. I'm just sort of checking out the rest of the stuff. Glamour's extra cash, which, you know, nothing... Wrong with spreading out the XP just a little bit there. I'm wrong with that. Be I mean, that armor seems like it would be very, very good, and I should probably start using it more than I am right now. And get a bit more grit so I can just buff up that HP just a little bit. There we go. Alright, well, that's one of the wanted's down. Stripey Hat Gang in Cavern Canyon. And there's a new one going on. I wonder if that was generated by completing a quest or if it's generated by time. Like I said, I'm really interested to see how this time system works. And whether or not it's actually affecting the things that are available and the events that happen directly. Because if that's true, that's really cool. I just like the idea of a world moving on without you. I think that's that's really neat. Uh, and a lot of games, they just wait for you. And that's not necessarily a good thing. There's really, like, not so much motivation to go... Well, if I've increased my stomach capacity, I could just buy a bunch of buffs and then go and try to fight those skeletons again. Hundred percent sure. So yeah, my spleen capacity. So I can use two potions and I can eat two uh, two things now before I pass out and nap. I think we're not so worried about the moxie, are we? So let's eat the, uh, I'm, I'm, I got my jacked flaps right now. And I can eat... Let's see, I mean, that would just be a straight up bet. There we go. Muscle determine, yeah, how much damage take. A lot of melee enemies, so if I just, like, hop my muscle... That's going to make me a lot tougher against that. So we can maybe just uh, go back in and give that another shot now that we've buffed up a bit. Got a little bit better equipment. Why not? Just check the saloon since the day has passed. There might be... And also we didn't... We barely talked to anybody here, really. There's maybe more things here than we noticed. Give me a shot, but why not? Maximum HP. Always good. I wonder if there is, like, a lot of emphasis on buffing in this game. I think it would make sense there was in Kingdom of Loathing. So maybe it's just like, hey, buff up a lot, and then you can take on the stuff that you otherwise weren't able to take on. I do like a heavy consumable focus in games. Like, a lot of them just make consumables a very optional thing that really doesn't serve a great amount of practical purpose. Hmm. Hey, what? Okay. I have a miniature piano now. As to what that does, I do not know. So, it's just a music player. Okay. Right. Well, I've got all these buffs. I'm a lot tougher than I was. I think 
going back there and trying to murder either the goblin dude, which we could totally do. Was in Gustafsson Gulch, if I recall correctly. Yeah, let's just go try and murder him. We're a lot tougher now. That seems useful. Sure, let's go there. What could go wrong? Oh, yeah. So instead of getting it from there, I could literally just buy it if I have 4,500 meat. Because they did say we need a year's supply of dynamite to blow it up. That is a literal year's supply of dynamite. Unfortunately, I don't really have the cash for that right now. That's kind of neat that they just gave you a different option. Okay. Instead of saying, well, you're going to have to deal with this guy in some way. Plus, there's the outfoxing that was going on. We got the... We upgraded our outfoxing skill. There's a bunch of meat for no reason. Sure. Let's just try and outfox him this time. We can do it. I'll take him. It's not very nice. Don't you want to fostering better of uh, human goblin relations? That's not words. I actually it is. I could be a new human ambassador, and you go to Human Town, being their goblin ambassador. Oh well, yes, that seems like a great idea. There we go. Diplomacy. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. Off you go. Yes. Beat the shit out of it. <laughs> Why not? For what possible reason? Set on fire. Also, I need to turn that piano off because apparently the, the piano is sort of ruining the music of the game now. So I actually don't want it. <laughs> Tainable the spatula. There we go. It's gone. Turn off the fucking piano. Uh, stop it. I would love to turn it off, yes. Because the ambient music is much better than that. Oh, Goblin Library. Yes. Ooh. Which of these will be useful? So very complicated numbers, why not? Oh, I can't read it. Right, uh... What about how to bird noise? Can't read that either. Alright. Something about Jabberwockies. Apparently I'm just too stupid to read any of that. Okay, never mind then. The Goblin Delicatessen. And I can't pick locks, never mind. Alright. Who are in Goblin Town? What's in the Goblin Storage? Good! That's, uh, that's good. I like that. And an even more random draw goblin sandwiches, yeah. Well, what about an even randomer draw goblin trousers? Hmm. Red her- Red herring storage. It looks like they're doing something really important. Why do I have the feeling that isn't fucking true? Ooh, it's a gold goblin fish wizard. Those all seem... Like the sort of things that we could do damage to right now. Maybe we should uh, create a bean wall. I don't think that that may or may not stop anything. I'm going to assume it doesn't. I don't know how powerful they are. Let's just put the bean shield up just in case, right? There we go. It doesn't actually stop me from casting, so there we go. Let's see how this goes. Looks like that was a good idea, because they would have probably murdered me if I hadn't done that. There we go. Take his fucking stuff. There we go. Heal him up. There we go. Lovely jabbly. The bean wall uh, uh, works against shooting attacks. Uh, doesn't work against spells, and one assumes that the fish wizards would have cast that. Of course, it's full of actual herring. Why would it not be? Take Kingdom of Loathing literally, because it usually is. Don't look for hidden meaning, it's all very much in front of you. You are misleading yourself more so than anything else. Gonna save some XP for a big upgrade. Well, what was in the mayor's house? We sent him out to go and look at something else, didn't we? What's on the desk? Important secrets! A lot of variety of secrets. The only one that's actually pertinent to your circumstances is the spare key to the treasure cave. The what? The treasure cave? Storage hut? Where the fuck was that? Well, that was back there, wasn't it? The Goblin Theatre. Alright. I mean, I may have just murdered a bunch of innocent fishmongers. Yes, I think that's probably what happened. But you know what? That's fine. I'm ruthless. Aha! Look in the specific drawer to get to the spare key. There we go. Lovely. Uh, so... Let's head on in there. I wonder what's in the Goblin Theatre. 
And there's also a goblin cafe. We've been in the goblin de delicatessen. You know, it's quite an advanced place, it would be. Go in and break a leg. Quite literally. Murder the goblet. It's a goblet? Alright. The answer to many questions is murder, it would appear. And that's fine. A dramatic goblin skill. Ooh, that's a... that's good. And the rest is silence. What was I... yeah, I had the filthy porcelain cow, didn't I? It's got a nice filter as well, you just click on it and then it all fills what you've got. Stealing people's trousers was a thing in Kingdom Hearts, wasn't it? It's been so long. I should really go back to it. Like, it was just fun to... Because you could play in kind of like 10 minutes a day, just use your action points and stuff. I don't know how it is now, it has been so long. But it was actually fun. We could... It was a guild system, wasn't it? Nah, nah, nah. I know better than that. I was thinking about this whole damn thing. I'm like, yeah, yeah. We'll totally do that. Do that. We'll make a guild and everything will be... And then it never is. You know, so just don't, basically. It's usually the best option when everyone says, Hey, you you should make a guild for your community members. Uh, don't, don't just... Uh, just don't ever do that thing. It never works out. Everything goes horribly wrong all the fucking time. Just don't. Is the best advice I can give to anybody. And my bean golem is shit now. And I clearly need to do something about that. Alright. Uh, I got some spell salts out here so we can actually kill something. There we go. Some hot heart damage. Yeah, there we go. I'll give you a little bean golem, I guess. As long as it's still tanking, I don't really mind. It's not doing a lot of damage anymore. We do need to do something about that. Spatula's doing a reasonable amount of damage. Let's not accidentally die here. We don't have dogs companioning, there's probably a dog companion somewhere. We had an accident of the Crazy Pete or the Drunk Doctor, we picked the Drunk Doctor. Which, to be fair, didn't seem like the worst idea of all time. There we go, close dynamite, give it him, why not? Might as well. Getting new dynamite isn't hard, there's a literal dynamite store on the map. Not what I would call tricky. There we go. There we go. Oh, another key. Which, okay. Yes, I do remember the Warframe Guild and how that went, yes. It's not, it's not a good idea. It just isn't. Because uh, there's like, there's this expectation if you make something that you'll be a part of it. And that's the only reason people are actually joining in the first place. And then when you're not a part of it, people get fucking mad. We've, we've done it in WoW too many times. If a lot of, um... We're watching idle animations because they're funny. If... If uh, more games had servers these days, we'd probably just set servers up for things. I wanted to do a Battlefield 1 and set it up so that, you know, we disabled certain weapons and that, but the amount of options you had was so limited that we weren't even able to do it properly. I don't know if it's better now. If it is, maybe we do. There's, uh, I think there's a place for that game with certain weapons turned off that actually makes the game more interesting. What I wanted to do was just to turn off any advanced sights. I wanted everything to be irons, but they didn't give me the option to do that. Alright. The goblin's paying more attention to their book than to you. Fight it! Mistakes were fucking made! I should not have done any of those things. First, bean shield. Then, bean golem for distraction purposes. Uh, then, I uh, cry because I'm gonna die anyway. Oh god, these are way stronger than I expected. It's fine, I get to leave anyway through the, uh, the whole anger system, so... I could surrender. It doesn't matter, because uh, I can die two times before having to go for a nap, so... Yeah, I like that the game just, like, isn't afraid to throw shit at you that's clearly beyond your level. And it's like, come back here later. There's a bunch of other stuff to do. Or get better consumables. And leveling up's pretty fast, and getting new gear you seem to get, like, constantly, so... Alright, so going into the treasure cave, maybe not the best idea. Alright, point taken. 
point has duly been noted. We, or I could have just not fought him. I mean, there is that option too. What if I just didn't? What if I just... Didn't. Oh, you can't get past them. Okay. So either there's probably some option that lets you get past them, or you've just got to fight them, which is quite clearly not an option right now. Oh, yeah, we haven't been to that store yet. Let's head over there. Maybe we gear up. Fort Cowardice! Sure, why not? There's so many locations. I guess it helps when you have a really crappy art style. You can make a lot of locations very quickly. What's going on with Fort Cowardice, then? Well, there's an admin building. I bet the mess hall is just messy. That just sounds like exactly what you'd expect from something like this. <laughs> just keep going! How many of these fucking things do they write? Uh, that's just about eight or nine of them. All right. If I can have it, I should have it. Oh, we didn't, we didn't actually drink... Oh, military-grade whiskey. Drink it. Absolutely. We still haven't got potions for the spleen yet, either. Potions, that's probably more of a crafting thing that they still haven't quite unlocked in the game yet. Because we think there's housing, and we think there's crafting. I, we're almost sure about crafting, we're not 100% sure about housing. I'm pretty sure it is in there, though. Oh, the admin and the mess hall are just the same thing, and needless to say, they're a mess. Surprising nobody. Yeah, there's a lockpick thing. Sure! Murder them! Yeah, you see, these we can handle. These are fine. There is the issue that you don't obviously know how strong a thing is before you go in, but simultaneously, because you've got that buffer where you only die technically after, like, a couple of deaths, it doesn't feel too bad to just take that risk. So I don't mind dying as much as I am. Stuff! There we go. Army Field Trauma Kit, that seems like it would be useful. This door's 10 HP, maybe it's not, but I assume it probably doesn't use action points. This must be the map. Fucking hell, game! I don't have safe Kraken, so... I mean, what did you expect to happen? I don't know how to do that. Math tent fucking game. Toilet and Goblin. No way you're gonna go in there. Go in there. No. Fort Cowardice was very clearly taken over by... Hello. Well, we should shoot a thing. If we have a cannonball, we should shoot a thing. If we don't, we are clearly missing the point. There are several cannons here. It won't let me do that. Okay. That's disappointing. I'm going to assume there is probably a cannon somewhere else. There's no reason not to just loot everything, to the best of my knowledge. Onto my horse called Binky. Oh yes, yeah, so we're heading to the damn store before we were distracted again. I think it seems like every time you try to travel something, there will be an event of some sort every time. Whether it just be stuff or a new location. But it seems like every time you travel, that's a thing. But I think traveling around doesn't cause time to pass. Time seems to only pass if you have to go for a nap and you get knocked out and sent back. All right, cool. A store. Sure, what do you got? A lot of good stuff by the looks of it. Beancraft, yes. Always good to have things that have options. Desert eating and drinking. Gives you the foraging skill. I Now I should probably be selling things. I mean, I have a lot of crap in my inventory that I probably don't really need. So I'm just seeing, like, what's worth what. Thankfully, you can order by that. Would be nice if they had... I mean, it does tell you here, but maybe a visual indicator as to what you have equipped. I mean, it's not hard to remember, but simultaneously, it would just be nice to have that, you know? I'm sort of upset to be selling these things because I'll probably... There's like, but what if crafting? I just sold the deputy. Didn't sell the sheriff, though. All right. 
Oh, I'm wearing those. Okay. At least it gives you the warning. It's like, don't sell that, because that's bad. And I'm not doing anything with that, because again, I need to find, if I get a fancy shirt, I can wear the cufflinks. Can't equip the cufflinks until I have a fancy shirt. It's fair. Uh, I can afford desert eating and drinking. The fact that there's a lot of gold teeth makes me think that you could probably make something out of that, but... It's like, is there anything else? I mean, that's always going to be good. I do like this idea. Like, that foraging skill is something we don't have and seems like there's a lot of stuff that we could gain from that. So let's get that. Ah, we also need a new skill. So yes, that, so that's the the old bean. Uncanny Presence gives you is a perk and butter bean. And I, I, like, I like the idea of a perk. Let's just do that. There we go. So I've just got 20% buff against everything. Sure. Sounds good. Alright. What were we even doing? There was a... There's a lot of stuff, as you can see. We were thinking about going and killing those skeletons now that we're feeling a little bit tougher and more confident. As much as I probably shouldn't. Head to Cabin Canyon. Yay! I have the ability to walk stupid now. Someone said there was like a way to get that secretly at the start of the game. Unlocks walk is stupid walking as an option. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, and we, let's get that foraging skill, there we go. I like the fact that there's always an excuse for you losing the book after you've read it. That's a nice little nod to RPGs where that happens. Oh my god, it's the best thing. Look at it now. They see me rolling. Oh my fucking god. I love it. This game is so good. <laughs> Holy shit. This guy makes me so happy. It's the stupidest thing ever. What? No! I, I want it. I mean, at least I got a thing out of it, I guess. Holy shit. <laughs> just rolling around. I have a crowbar. I can do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Danger spider. Yeah. <laughs> I spent way too much time on that. Please don't open unless you want to be eaten by a giant spider. Isn't even signed. Can't be expected to take that seriously. It only has seven locks on it. How many buffs have I got? I'm sure this will be absolutely fine. What could possibly go wrong? As we have said many times before, before being completely murdered in this game. Open it, there's a giant spider. There's no way to go through unless you're a huge, oh. Okay. Right, well, that accomplished nothing. Right, and I'm not a huge spider yet, but that seems like the kind of thing that maybe I could be at some point. Holy shit, this game. We can arrest the spiders. Um, uh, be right back, guys. Give me a sec. Sorry, I, we're gonna. I, I just take a very quick break. Okay, I'll be right back. Just gonna deal with something. All right. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Uh, just right back. We're actually because kind of about to wrap up anyway. Uh, the plan for this stream today was about uh, for a two-hour stream, which is what we've done. And this will result in a video, which will probably be available tomorrow. Um, I think as you probably sort of figured out up to this point, this game is really, really fun. Lead them for the spider! Yes! I have the... I have the ruthless option. There we go. And now I can go back in now that the gang has been horribly murdered. Uh. Also this fucking... See? They all got eaten! Tragically eaten by a giant spider. How... How terrible. How terrible. The music choice, I don't know, well, it would just randomly came on. It's from an album called Songs for the Cure, which I think was a charity album that came on. Um, it just happened to be part of a fairly large soundtrack collection. Anyway. 
this is a good time to wrap up. There'll be more of these uh, regular research streams. This is going to be a thing. A lot of these are going to be leading into... We're going to be trying things to see whether or not they end up being worth a... Suggests video. In this case, obviously this game is. So I'll be putting something together on that formally. There'll be quite a few streams over the next few days. Saturday, we're planning to do... Uh, there's going to be a promo on Chrono GG for Invisigun. There's a new spectator mode. We're going to get some people together. We're going to play it using the new spectator mode. That's going to be on Saturday. Probably around 3 p.m. Eastern, I guess. Shoutcraft Kings, obviously, is 8 a.m. Eastern on Sunday. And Monday... What was I going to do? Ah, yes. Monday will be the XCOM to... Uh, War of the Chosen expansion video. And then the 15th will be the co-optional podcast with Lyric. And 16th is going to be a special stream of something that I can't tell you about yet. So, there'll most likely be a stream every day going forward, at least for the next week or so. And accompanying videos on the YouTube channel, which will mostly consist of suggests and maybe WTFs. I'm only going to go do that and maybe work a bit more on Lawbreakers so I can do the WTFs of that. So there's stuff. Yeah, there's there's plenty of stuff. No, we're not going to do not suggest. There, there's no point in that. Like, let, let's just sort of make it clear. There's no point in me wasting the limited space on my channel on shit. To uh, Steam is full of shit. What use is me showing shit to you? It's no use to you. I was like, oh, it's entertaining. I don't care. I'm not an entertainment channel. I'm not there for that. There are plenty of other channels that make hay from just shitting on shitty games. I'm not that. I won't be that. That's not my purpose. If a major game that people actually give a fuck about is bad, then I can tell you that in WTF is. I can do a proper critique there. I'm not going to dedicate space on my channel or space even in my brain anymore to bullshit. I'm not going to do it. It's a waste of everybody's time. It's useless. It's worthless shit. I'm not going to contribute to that culture in any way. So the channel will be critique of games that matter and highlighting of games that you may not know about. That's the main crux. Plus the podcast, plus lounge, and, you know, any other incidentals. That's the focus. That's what I want to do right now. That's what I want my job to be. I have no intention whatsoever of wasting time on shit that isn't worth my time because it literally isn't it's not worth my time it's not worth your time it's not worth the fucking words that come out of my mouth you know, we don't get 2.3 million fucking subscribers by showing you a bunch of shit to waste your time it's not what we're here for what if the game looks good and you stream the game is really bad then they just don't do anything it's like okay it ends up being really bad right well we don't make a video on it then why give space to shit there is no reason. None. Zero reason for that. None at all. Cool. But this game is great. And you should have a look at it. It's called West of Loathing. And I'm going to be making a more formal video on that probably for tomorrow. I enjoyed my time with this a lot. This is really fucking cool. Thank you very much for watching, folks. As always. And I'll be doing another stream tomorrow. Probably around this, this kind of time. And as I said, Saturday for Invisigun with the new spectator mode, and there'll be a big promo on Chrono GG, so you can pick it up cheap if you like. And Sunday for Shoutcraft Kings, Monday for the XCOM 2 expansion, Tuesday for the Corporational Podcast with Lyric, and Wednesday for the mystery, really fucking cool thing that I want to tell you about, but can't quite yet, and I will be able to soon. Probably. Guten Abend? Afternoon? Yeah? Yeah. Guten Abend. Good enough. You can't be and so forth. Music suddenly stops. Uh, we need outro. Outro. Didn't even think of this. Why? Do no, this is not the kind of thing that we prepare for. Goodbye. <laughs>